Welcome back to Vanillaish Factorio. And now I've been doing some upgrades. So our copper line is running at full speed. Uh, it's piled back here. Um, and in fact, this is all red belt. I think, uh, yeah, it all is all red belt. We still only have one line of, uh, of red belt incoming, but it is processing pretty fast. I just need to solve the that sort of slight problem here. It's mainly because the fuel's on the outside, not the inside. Uh, you can't really do it this way because there's not enough room. But uh, I'll solve that. There's only one furnace down on each side. So we're bringing two red belts, and it's not compressed, but we're bringing two red belts out of copper, and that is supplying the rest of the factory. It isn't getting uh, isn't getting completely used up, so that's good so far. We are, however, you can see iron is getting used up quite quickly until it gets to there, and that's the kind of last, last time we pull off iron. And iron is in use because it's part of the circuits build, so I've now got six clusters on this side and four clusters on that side so each cluster is five assembly machines of course but ten clusters total and they're using up all the iron available in fact it's sort of getting starved so I am going to have to upgrade the iron to do a similar thing to the copper uh, and we are well I actually just improved before I started uh, the camera rolling but yeah we're not too we don't have too much overhead in our power system so I'll have to do that as well so over here on the uh, on the science side, we're two thirds of the way through towards a rocket silo, and once we get rocket silo, we can turn off the science, which will start building back the red circuits that use other things. You'll see, however, right now, uh, what we're short of is purple science, among other things. Well, in fact, no, we're definitely short of purple science. Everything else is fine, maybe a bit short of yellow, but purple is going to be needing a few things. Furnaces, there's the main one. And they need red circuits, fine. Uh, they need steel, and they need stone brick. And I'm short of stone brick again. And as someone did say in the comments, I have a power pole missing of my stone brick setup. So, slightly annoying if I do. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Uh, see if they were spotting things correctly. Um, so everything, nothing's flashing here, so nothing's a problem there. And we're... Where, oh, where is my stone setup? Um, no, it's not that I'm missing a power pole, unless unless I've already corrected it. It's not the power pole, it's the, um, the lack of stone. Uh, we've pretty much exhausted it all up to here. Maybe they mean this extra power pole here. And um, yes, they'd be absolutely right there. <laughs> However, um, we're out of stone, sort of. We've got these three or four spots left here. And not much else. There is also a couple of spots available there. In fact, let's just see. Uh, not really very accessible. You can use... Um, we, we do have filter inserters now. And you also have the ability to filter using splitters. So, you know, we could overlap these and just pull off just the stone. And just filter everything else out. Uh, but realistically, I probably want to go and scout out a new source of stone, I think. Um, depending, because that's, that's just... It's just not enough. And let me just put this power pole back. There we go. In fact, we can just do that now because uh, this isn't needed anymore. There we go. Much neater, much tidier. Oh, there is a bit more stone here. Can we get another miner? And will we be able to get something on here? We should be able to, but we may have to reroute this yellow belt, which isn't the problem. Let's just take that up for a second. Uh, yeah, so if we put one right here and then reroute this around, we should be fine. So we don't need this to go anywhere near here. Let's just remove all of you. And where's that mining thing? Uh, we want to go right there, I want to say, as long as that isn't also iron. Oh, that's iron. That's slightly annoying. Let's just put it one for the, for the east. So we can filter it, I just prefer not to. It's a bit of a hassle, really, when you have to do that. There we go. Alright, and that should... Oh no, hang on, there is iron there as well. Yeah, we're going to have to filter things. That's fine. We'll just set up a filter then. Uh, easiest way to do that is get a splitter. 
I'm just going to do it with Splitter. Uh, there we go. And we'll send the iron left. We should be able to get it onto that middle belt somehow. Let's add priority to the right and to the filter to stone. And then we need, presumably, left. Whoops. Get rid of that first bit. And then, yeah, everything separates. Good. So then I want to send the, uh, the, the ore back and then down here somewhere. And then merge in with one of these belts. So we sort of want it to go maybe here. And we can just bring it around to do that if we need to. Um, there we go. Uh, where was that belt, roughly? This'll do. Okay, is that flowing now? Uh, looks to be. Yeah, that looks looking fine. So this should then produce more stone brick, of course, which will head up to the top. Uh, we are... Empty on this box, I would imagine now. Yes. And I'm not going to need to do anything else here. So let me just take that box out. Because we don't need the concrete anymore. At least not permanently. And that should head its way towards our automated furnace uh, manufacturing area. Which should then restart this purple science. Now because that's not going to be terribly good. Uh, I may have to scout out another area for stone. Um, do we have any around? Let's just have a look on the map. Um, iron, iron. It'd be nice if there's some out here somewhere, and there isn't. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, but uh, it is, it is what it is. Um, there's no stone anywhere. Oh, really? Well, I suppose that's not too far away, but it's, it, mm. <laughs> I would like somewhere a little bit closer than that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave it as is for now. We'll see how well it gets on. Um, everything else is piled up, so we don't have to worry with the, the red circuits for the moment. And uh, I, should, I really need to fix that purple science thing, because we need to get through this research in order to do anything else. So let me go, just go and figure something out. Yeah, I went down there. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. It's quite late in the research to actually worry about it. But um, I also generally disapprove of this kind of rotunda situation where it'll just pull off the, the, the purple and send it back around again. Except that instead of waiting at the end of the belt, now it evenly distributes whatever's remaining over all the labs. So that's the only, con the only reason I would do this until stone makes its way back through. You can see up there on that line, it's quite sparse at the moment and that won't take very long to improve. Um, let me just put uh, a light there. Uh, I won't take very long to improve. But uh, it's still on its way up. Why is there one piece of copper? No idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Has it improved yet? Yeah, I put in some manually, so we should have a little bit more coming through. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit more coming through. And uh, is it, has it made its way up yet? It should be still on its way. Uh, here it comes. There we go. So there's the uh, six miners worth coming all the way up from that small amount of stone all the way down at the bottom left of the map. And that'll sort that out permanently. I guess even if we have a couple of uh, furnaces, we could process it faster. Um, let's just do the bottom two. And that should do for now. Okay, I've continued to scale up what will be one of our new assembly lines all the way out here on the right hand side. You'll see we're already onto the third set of steel boxes there for the solid fuel. Out here, I've got a whole line of these ready to basically make a low density structure. And we'll need more than this. Um, almost certainly we'll need more of it. But uh, we'll wait for that to actually come through. It should come through in a few minutes now. And uh, yeah, so we're just waiting for that. I'll cut forward until we can get things started on the rocket. And our rocket research is done. So we've now got the ability to make a silo. Um, but more importantly, we've got the ability to start making the subcomponents. So we're going to start choosing that. So we want a low, low density structure. And then we're just going to walk along and basically add that to every single one of these. 
Okay, and we'll also add an output belt of some kind. Uh, Why don't I just head it this way? For the moment, anyway. And then we'll just add this. Now, it's at this stage of the game, you find out exactly how well you've done at scaling up uh, and whether you scaled up enough. The answer, almost always, unless you're a professional speedrunner, <laughs> is no. No, you haven't scaled up enough. Or at least not to have to wait for your rocket to build for a while. So that, or at least those are all on build their We're going to start building low density structures. And low density structures, let's just have a look at the silo now. Uh, it's going to be used to make rocket parts. But we need to make the silo as well. It's going to be a thousand steel, some blue circuits, some electric units, pipe and concrete. And this is where you normally want a box or something like that. You can just put some of your inventory in temporarily because you're going to need the space to build the silo. So why don't I just put some stuff away and let's see if I have enough of these components around to be able to go and make stuff or at least make the silo. OK, I've turned off uh, purple and yellow and blue science. So that's all the things that take red circuits. In turn, that means red circuits are going to get used to make blue circuits. So in here, I've got enough blue circuits to make the silo. There it is. You just up most of my inventory to do it, but it's there. And then I can just put the, uh, the underground belt back. Because we should no longer need any of this stuff, because this will need to go to make one of the parts for our rocket. Um, yeah, it needs to be combined with this. So here, what we're actually going to do, I'm actually going to cut this off just temporarily. And I'm probably going to cut it off here as well. And we'll tell it to make rocket control units. It uses blue and speed modules, both of which are being supplied in this belt. This was the uh, yellow science, by the way. And uh, we may need to make more of those and re rework this, but that is now making rocket control units. Uh, let me just send this stuff this way. And for the moment, I'm just going to box them. So I'm going to be working on another part of the factory. Um, you just need blue circuits, don't you? And I've got some available, so why don't I just give you an initial supply of them? And the rest should be coming around pretty soon. Uh, oh, I just need to reconnect to that, don't I? There we go. So blue circuits are off on the way around. Rocket control units are starting to be built there. Uh, our silo is built, so it should be in my inventory. Yep, it's over here. I'm going to actually build it over near the low-density structures because I can always um, hand-move the control units across from over there. And we're going to build it sort of up here near where I've got an array producing the rocket fuel. Same sort of array as up here that's building the low-density structures. So they both will arrive on belts, which is good. And let's put our silo, which is huge, in place. Um, doesn't much matter where we build it. It's up here somewhere. Um, yep. So I don't, don't want to hit auto-launch. <laughs> Just don't. Trust me. <clears throat> and then I want to put a productivity module 3 in there. And if I could make more, I would. But I don't have any more at the moment. And I'm just going to link up with a little bit more power poles. So everything is now connected with power. Uh, you're ready to go. You just need parts. So I'm just going to send all these up past here. And it typically actually takes quite a few of these. Can we actually link up both sides of this with power? I think we have to just... Um... Yeah, that'll do. There we go. And I'm just going to put in some inserters. So let's just feed a couple of up here. A couple down here. And then we'll have a box over here. An iron chest will do with a fast inserter, and that'll be where I put rocket control units. So, have you started? Yet yeah, you've fed everything in. You need low density structures, of course, which means I need some red inserters. There we go. And now it just needs the control units to be able to start. 
So, um, actually, I think I changed my mind. I think I actually want to feed these automatically. So I'm going to run a belt because it's actually quite sparse up here. I don't need to get worried about things getting interrupted. And there you'll see we've got all of our ingredients that we need. And I think if I just remove this line, we should be able to build more up here and just send this belt up and around to actually get more of these being produced. And in that case, then I am going to reverse this. And I'll run a belt up, over and around. Uh, how many of these have I got to start with though? 21. Eh, not, not good. So let's run it this way. Get rid of any, any trees in the way. And then I've got to figure out how to get that through there. So I'll do the off camera. One second. And off it goes. It needs 20 of each of those. And what does it need for the third part? It needs... Uh, well, in fact, it needs 10 of all three. It only takes three seconds, of course, so that's not really much of an issue. And uh, that would just mean now we need to wait for... Uh, how many rocket parts did it take? 100 rocket parts, I would imagine. 1% uh, for each rocket part, presumably. So if it is, then... Yep, that is uh, basically a 1,000 of each of these things that we actually need. While that's happening, you'll see some coming across over here. We need to think about the satellite. Don't forget the satellite, unless you're going for so long and thanks for all the fish um, uh, achievement, in which case you want a fish out of a pond, which you can go and grab if you want to, instead of the satellite. In our case, though, no, we actually want the satellite. So sat needs more blue circuits, so we'll get those last. Needs some low density structure, which is easy, and some rocket fuel. So we'll get actually get those while we're waiting for the other things to start. Okay, sat. Do I have enough of those? I do. In fact, I have more than enough. We need some solar panels, some accumulators, and some blue circuits. Solar panels are relatively straightforward, and so are accumulators, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so copper, steel, electronic circuits, and accumulators are iron plates and batteries. So let's just go and have a look if we've got batteries anywhere. I think we do. I think I had them on a line around here somewhere. Uh, yep, so here's the battery factory. And I have lots of batteries. Lots and lots of batteries. So, sat. Uh, 100 accumulators. So I can already handcraft 50. And we have batteries and iron plate here, so we can already do these automatically. So let's do them automatically while we can. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Although, we're not going to need too many of these, so why don't we just extend this a little bit. Because we can always grab everything else from here. One, two, three, four. Uh, do the same thing with red. One more red. Uh, we need some power poles. And we need to do a little bit of um, creative rearranging with, with this. Okay. And, whoops, you need power as well. So, accumulators. Okay, and then we'll just put those into a belt. And box them up like everything else. Off they go. That's not going to take them very long. Solar panels again. Uh, copper, steel, electronic circuits. So, do I have copper and steel anywhere? I think I do. Uh, because it's right here. Because we're using it for making our low density structure. However, steel is going to get starved pretty much from now because of just sheer amount of steel we're actually using. And green circuits I have right here as well. So we do have to be a bit careful in that we're going to be using these up. But other than that, uh, in fact, is there anything going up there that I actually need the steel for? There isn't. So I'm just going to cancel you. You're all going that way. And in fact, uh, I think I'll do the same thing with 
this as well. He says, hopefully you're not getting this wrong. Uh, is there anything else I'm using circuits for? Then no. And in fact, I can probably go and reclaim those uh, just to uh, get them back down here. So copper and steel and circuits, although that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Um, solar panels. I need more circuits than everything else, so I could do with combining copper and steel, but they are not combined. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, rearranging. It won't take long. Let's just send some of it this way. And we'll send the other half sort of going... Uh, let's just get another splitter. Like that. And then we can bring this line around. Go underneath. And onto this side. And then this, this one we can just basically take over here. And again, not that we're going to be using a lot of these. Let me just use this red belt. Not that we need red. But we need a space just to put a few factories down. So this will do with, let's put just four down there. And we'll just match the uh, setup for accumulators. You need to require the same number. Solar. And then we'll just run uh, with red. And just insert us this way. And then we'll box it just as before with another iron chest. Okay, so we've got solar panels running, we've got accumulators running. So the SAT is pretty much taken care of. We need five radar, uh, radar, but we can probably handcraft those. Yeah, we can. Which leaves 100 processing units, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, to do that job, just as a very quick measure, I'm just going to tell this to a satellite. Ooh, can I not make the satellite? Does it have to be handcrafted? Um, interesting. I would have thought it could be automatically crafted. Maybe it's only by the next tier up. Hmm. So I can't use that. <laughs> Fine. I'll just put that stuff in a box so I don't actually use it up too much. So what were you again? 150. So, um... 100. 50. That's one chest. Um, let me actually just put an iron chest down. And then the rest is just the radar and everything else. So radars are done. And everything else is done to process. How fast are you? 6%. Okay, so I think I need more than anything else. One, I could do with more steel. And two, solid fuel is not really an issue, is it? Uh, why don't we just make sure that both sides of this belt is filled? Again, this will not increase capacity any, in any way. It really just adds extra buffer space on the belt itself. And we're starved of steel. So we can't really do the same thing on the other side because it just doesn't have enough stuff. And that's where I say you try to scale up and you always find yourself short. It just happens every game for me. So I also scale up down here, and something to mention, if you ever have red belts, but you don't want to upgrade everything to red belts, if you're using half belts like this, just upgrade the thing you're using a half belt to, to red belt, because it's twice as fast as yellow. So all of this will continue to be supplied at the right rate, it's just that it's double one, you basically get um, two yellow belts in one red belt, and you use one side each. So it's kind of convenient to use that sometimes, uh, again, you may well upgrade to red completely. However. We've now got red, uh, sorry, not red circuits, blue circuits. 
They're going up and round, and I've built an extra array of these rocket control unit assemblers. They're going all the way up here and all the way around, and we can continue to extend that if we want to. They, along with the low-density structures, are pretty much the bottleneck at the moment. So we can just add to them. And blue circuits are being sort of, we're in a shortfall because I think we're starved of green circuits. We're just using them in huge amounts right now. Uh, yeah, so because the red circuits can't make any more because they're also starved of green circuits. Yeah, everything's starved of green circuits because everything's processing really quite quickly. First shot at it comes from these red circuit factories. So I already upgraded the steel. It's not terribly more, but it is a uh, red belt and capable now. So I think I'm just going to, um, excuse me, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go and um, improve the green circuits a little bit more if I can do. And the easiest way to do that is to have a look at just basically upgrading these inserters from yellow because it piles back a little bit sometimes. Uh, are you piled back? No, you're actually at full speed. That's fine. So we don't need to change these ones. But to see if we need to put in some more clusters or something along those lines. Before I do that, however, I think my satellite or my greens for the satellite should be ready. Let's pop up here. Let's see, you've got some lights near the rocket uh, silo. Yeah, in fact, it is ready because both of these are now piled back. So what first I'm going to do is just to cancel all of those. I don't want them using up any more resources. And for that matter, I'm just going to cancel the green here. Let's just, well, not cancel, but send it all left. And then we can improve the speed somewhat just by going up to red. And again, running red through, whoops, as much here as we can. Running past all of these to the end. And that's the equivalent of one yellow belt uh, capacity, even though we're not actually uh, producing that much green circuits at the moment. And then down here, this is already being fed and prioritized left. And that is also going to uh, to some blue, well, it's going to the blue circuit factory. Um, didn't I have another red? I thought I built a third red. No, it doesn't look like it. One here, one there. Okay, I may have to make more of those if we can get enough green circuits into them. Okay, uh, where was I? Satellite. Yes. Uh, can I build it now? Sat. Yes, I can. Okay, and around it goes. Pocket crafted. And before I forget, I'm not sure if I can put it in until it's actually ready. No, you can't. So, I'm going to put it in here. Do not forget the satellite. Trust me. And why aren't you accepting your short on... Yeah, your short on low-density structures now, which is pretty much just waiting for steel wherever possible. It is producing, but you'll see steel is not getting to the end over here. It's all being taken up. So still, still, still steel needed for that. Put those in, and then I'm going to go and try and scale it up. Uh, what were we on? I think we were on about 20%. 28%. Okay, not bad. I'm going to go and scale as much as I can while waiting for the rocket to get ready. One other thing, other thing of note, in here, there's only one thing I know of that uh, uses up the last type of science that we haven't really got to yet. Uh, it's part of the silo. Uh, when you basically launch a satellite, you get a thousand white or space science. And if you have a look in the research down here, the only thing that really uses that, I think, in vanilla is the artillery shell range and shooting speed, and it's infinite. Um, I think it's inf yeah, one to infinite uh, levels of this. So you can keep on spending more and more and more to get better and better artillery. But since we're not playing with biters, we don't necessarily need this. However, you know, it's up to you whether you launch that satellite after the first time or not, depending on whether you're playing with biters or indeed other players that you're competing with with artillery. As for steel, I put in an extra array just of the third tier because we already had them automated for the science uh, of electric furnaces. So they are just doing the same thing as these, except without the need for fuel. So uh, they are injecting more steel onto the line. Not 
terribly much more at this stage of the game, but we don't really need that much more at this stage of the game to get a rocket going. Uh, I put some extra um, red circuit factories up here, and we can make another row of them above just by deleting this coal line, which we don't really need. Uh, I will just monitor that here over the next few minutes, obviously off camera, and we'll see whether we actually need it. Uh, is this all full? Uh, the lubricant is filling. Light oil is also filling. Uh, that's mainly because this over here is blocked. And we're full on petroleum, so it does mean that the, the plastic is going as fast as it can. Yeah, everything's actually backing up. So we could get away with probably another line of red, although it's probably going to be the copper cable we run out of. So we may need to put some more copper, copper cable um, assembly machines down here. Let's go and see how far through the silo is done. See the rocket control units are coming over here. Really is low density fuel, uh, low density structures at this point in the game. Um, I really should have buffered more of that steel. I buffered the plastic here, and we've still got lots of plastic in that buffer, but just didn't do enough steel. <clears throat> Points to remember for the next game. 69%. Okay. Fully far through. I'm going to skip forward to the last few percent now. Oh, before I do, one other thing of note. I did actually manage to make a few more productivity modules. So for the last 30% or so, I'll just jam those in. Um, I did actually make nine total. Um, I, obviously, in a, in a game where you play until the very end, well, say end, but the game where you play into mega space territory, you will have those everywhere in every machine uh, that can take them. But for this, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, we'll probably occasionally get... Ah, there we go. There's a second, secondary line. When it goes through again, what we should get is a bonus output. So we're short on low density structures. We just have to wait for that to happen. Do I have any steel in my inventory just to force it? No, I don't think I do. Nor do I have any low density structures. Uh, let's just see how many more does it need. Just one more and then it will start. So one there. And we should get that secondary um, progress bar. There it is. So that should have an extra. I think that was an extra. Like hopefully you saw that go up by one. And 74%. So an extra 5% quite quickly. So it shouldn't take too much longer until the rocket's ready. And here we are, closing in on the last few pieces of, uh, of low density structure. I've picked up the satellite. We're all ready. And this has around, been around about, what, six episodes? So that's probably about three hours of recorded time that you've been watching. Well, let's see just how much time it spent me, well, I've spent off camera doing this. So it's preparing. Definitely not auto launch. Up comes the rocket. A rocket inventory so we can get our satellite, pop it in and launch. Off it goes. I mean, it's not SpaceX. We don't get it rubbed back. It'd be much nicer if it did. Ten hours, 37, 40 uh, seconds. Yep. So that's not a um, under eight hour uh, run. Mainly because, one, I'm out of practice, but two, um, I don't play as often as I should. Yeah, so, victory. And uh, we can continue, of course. And uh, do we actually get, yep, there we get some of the white space sites. And this will continue to make rockets, of course, as long as you supply it with more and more materials. At this point, pretty much everything is automated. The rest of the productivity modules I put in over here to make more low density structure. And also down in the steel uh, electric furnaces. The third tier can actually take modules. So I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, we are about to get to 0.17 pretty well, very soon now. It should be in January. So I wanted to get this kind of series to get it rolling because there's quite a lot of changes in 0.17. New user interface, new balancing, uh, the belts have different capacities, all kinds of stuff that we'll actually cover when that comes out. I hope that is... Maybe this Friday, or maybe the Friday after, depends. Uh, and I hope it isn't delayed. But I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with other people, and we'll see you, uh, well, not next episode, but uh, 
maybe next series of Factorio when not lots of teens out. Unless anyone's got any questions. If you do, put them in the comments below. Maybe I'll cover them in a separate video. It depends if there's enough uh, enough questions to actually do that or not to, to occupy about half an hour of your time. And we'll see how far we go from there. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed, well, Vanilla Factorio. I never did add any mods. I must do that in the next series. Thanks for watching.